Because if even with cleaning, it's if you're not using it fully, you're gonna clog it. Uh, so this has to be done if uh, you are, let's say, more than 15 days out of your office. Yes. 15 days, days is, uh, is, 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 that's, that's a long time too. You want to not be out of your office for 15 days. So you want to touch your printer once within 15 days. <laughs> you know that you want to flush your system. That's the safest way. You might get lucky. I wouldn't take a risk. So you're that. taking like, this side say, panel off yeah, now, yeah? It's more comfortable. And okay, all the yeah. the time you are, you are there, then you don't need that. Yeah, all the time you're there. You don't need to flush at all. Unless you get a Charles, car. You're going to cover with them how to, one, take the printhead out, flush it, uh -huh. two, how to fill it and uh, get it ready for extended stay or for fitting to a customer. All right. You can do that, right? Can I ask, is this documented? Is it in a maintenance... We have, uh, a, we have a small video. Yeah, but I have a big best, one. Yeah, it's probably better for you to have your video because you can actually communicate with people. <laughs> <laughs> you have four screws. There are four screws on this side. Yes, right now, so. the same as the other side. Yeah, but one, one's different. One's actually inside. Yeah. In this hole. Yep, fine. Okay. So, you also, also show them how to prime the damper. Okay. Okay. Just so you have it, and I'll show you why you have to prime the damper when you change it. That's it. Oh, don't forget to tell them how not to mix the screws on the printhead. Right? What screws have to go where? Okay. Until they're familiar with it, keep them separate so they know okay. what screws go where. There's metal screws and plastic screws on this machine. Oh, right, yeah. And even in the printhead, there's small screws, slightly smaller screws. <laughs> so you need to make sure that the yeah. right screws are in the right place, otherwise you run the risk of having a loose connection again. These are the, the guard, right? The cover. Mm -hmm. the room, the room. I'll be back. Yeah. Where are you going? I'm going to the restroom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, what I usually do? The restroom, to, to the restaurant is open. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's open. Oh, oh, yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> okay. What I usually do is um, I put like a towel or a shirt, a couple shirts around mm -hmm. right here. Just So I can rest this printhead. On it. I see, yeah. So you won't damage anything. Now, first thing you do is there's an encoder strip that Justin was talking about. It's in between these grooves right here, see? Mm -hmm. It's in between. Yeah. Like a groove. Alright. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to pull it down, twist, and pull up. So it's out, right? There you go. Now it's out. It's out of the groove. Mm hmm. Okay. Now, what you're going to do, well, first, get this one out. Keep, keep the screws with the, yeah, with the piece. With the piece, so I know exactly. Okay, now, this, one more. Yeah, yeah, this is the side panel. Uh -huh. This one. Okay, uh, now there's a belt, and mm -hmm. it's attached to it. This is what moves the crane head. Mm -hmm. So what I do is, I hold this, and I kind of pull, pull it out, but while I'm moving this towards it, mm -hmm. and it's a lot easier to take it out, see? And then that oh, yeah. goes out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now what I do is I tuck this under, put this over, okay? This has a, there's springs on the wheels. Okay, so get it out, you push back, see how you see it go in? I'll make sure this chip is in this hole. Push in. Take out. What you're gonna do is always remember you're gonna push it, you're gonna turn it forward. forward. Never this way. Forward. You're gonna rest it on the shirt. Mm -hmm. This is where the shirt comes into play. Okay? Let me get a better screwdriver. I usually use a smaller a smaller screwdriver. This small tip, yes. So I don't strip the screw. So what I do is there's three screws: one, two inside there, and three. Mm -hmm. And so I just take it out. Make sure not to lose these. It's very important not to lose these screws. I lost a couple of them. Mm -hmm.
Usually this one's hard to come out because of the wire, so I'll just take it out with the unit. Okay, now this should just pop out. Now, I just lay it on here for now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get a cup. Maybe like a, a couple cups, just in case. To the cup. Remember, the reason we use a cup is because there's a hole in the cup, and we don't want anything to touch the Teflon cup. No. So we use empty space. So a cup is the best, best choice. Just lay it on top there. Now we're gonna get. We should have two syringes. I can One see the bit. white lines and the CMYK now. Okay. Where? Are these here? I mean, onto the print head? Yeah, so this is the white. Yes. And of course, this is the color. Yes. Now, what I usually do is I have one syringe without the thorough tubing, one width. This is for this. So you're going to put this all the way in into the hole. This is a damper. This is what it means by prime damper. This has to be down, right? So it's going to be up. So what you do is before you put it in, it has to be up. The levers So must these be levers up. must be up. Yes. That, that does that lock the ink or no? It allows it to flow, doesn't no, it? No, it turns it off. It turns it yeah, off. Up in. is off. Right, because okay. if I have these down, these ink is just gonna go down. Yep, the yep, yep. So you're gonna have it up, put it in, lower the levers. Now you can pull in. So when you pull in, I don't know if he wants me to actually flush this machine or or not, but well, <clears throat> no, look here it goes. You take it, you do it. All right, see? Yes. Now you see the ink. So you've so created a vacuum in there and right, it's drawing. Right, that's what the syringe is doing. Yeah. Okay. Now lock, it, you, lock it. Right, you lock, you lock it. Now if you didn't lock it, that ink you could push back? No, if I didn't, if I didn't lock it, it would just uh, yeah, right back. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah. Nothing no, sucking. No, yeah, you right, create so, a vacuum. Yeah. So what I do is I usually clean it. So I create the mess. No, not create the mess. I squirt it out. Yeah. I don't know if he really wants me to flush this or not. These are sealed cartridges. So now what we do is we have bulk cartridges. All right, so we're going to take these out. Take these out. Oh, white's almost gone. And you know those bulk cartridges that, uh, these right here? Yes. These right here. Okay. Uh, What happens is, with textile, you're going to use cleaning solution and green ones. So I'm just going to do one. Yeah. Just to show. I think I find a way to do this. <laughs> Be very careful. I use, sometimes I use a funnel or I just use precision. This is the cleaning solution.